Our live Team 2 coverage continues with investigative reporter Aaron Diamond. And Aaron, the suspected shooter, called out congressional candidate Karen Handel of Georgia just days before the attack. Just one of the many signs that this attack was politically motivated. Within the last two hours, we spoke with Karen Handel here at her Alpharetta headquarters about the recent Facebook post by the alleged shooter calling her out for something she said on WSB TV. It's really disturbing for people to be trying to go about their day to serve the people of this country and to have what is seemingly raw politics drive someone to such a such an act. An emphatic condemnation from Republican 6th District Congressional Candidate Karen Handel of Wednesday's attack by a gunman who opened fire on GOP congressmen and staff on a Virginia ball field. I'm just focused on, first of all, today, thoughts and prayers for Steve Scalise and those who were injured. We spoke exclusively with Handel after Channel 2 Action News broke the story that just last week the suspected shooter, James Hodgkinson of Illinois, called out Handel on Facebook, posting, quote, Republican expletive wanted people to work for slave wages when a livable wage is the only way to go. Vote blue. It's right for you. Hodgkinson referring to a statement Handel made during a primetime debate on WSB TV this month with Democratic opponent John Ossoff as the pair sparred over the minimum wage. I do not support a livable wage. What I support is making sure that we have an economy that is is robust. Handel clarified her position the next day, still her opponents pounced. He made a whole lot out of that when it was abundantly clear in the debate that I was talking about more federal mandate. Either way, Handel told us she's used to the harsh criticism that comes with running for office. And in a time of intense, divisive political rhetoric, she feels the shooting should give all Americans a moment of pause. We must find a way to focus on the things that unite us and have civil discourse around those that we disagree on. And within the last hour, we heard from Handel's Democratic opponent, John Ossoff, who told us, I condemn this appalling act of violence committed by a disturbed individual. The whole country is shaken as well as united in prayer for those fighting for their lives and in appreciation for the first responders and police for saving lives today. Despite our differences of opinion, Americans must redouble our commitments to national unity, civility, and the rule of law. We're live in Alpharetta, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.